glad that you are joining with us Wednesday night. And just a reminder that this is uh, not just something that we want you to watch, but something that we really want you to participate with us along in. So as we're singing, we want you to sing along with us. And if you're not familiar with the song, that's okay. Just kind of let the words and the presence of God sweep over you. And just a reminder that we don't want you just to watch us pray either during this. We want you to be praying along with us. So with that said, let's get started. Sing this with us.
sing this last song together tonight. Just take a moment and let this be your prayer, a prayer of in invitation for His presence and His Spirit in your life. There's nothing worth more that can ever come close. No thing can compare your living world. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted it. Thank you guys so much for singing with us tonight. I want to take this moment just as we, we kind of start praying here. Just, just take a few minutes right where you are and let that song that we just sang kind of be your prayer. Maybe just right where you are, either stand or, or kneel or, or just bow your heart and bow your head. But, but take a moment and, and pray. We encourage you to pray with us, not just watch us pray, but pray that the Holy Spirit would just kind of fill wherever you are with his presence right now. Just take a moment and let's pray for that. Father, we pray that, that your Holy Spirit would just enter into our homes right where we are, that you would help us to feel your presence tonight, that this wouldn't be a time of just us watching something on, on Facebook or on YouTube, but that instead this would be a moment where we are truly standing or kneeling or sitting in the presence of God. And God, I, I just pray that during this time we would recognize that your presence is near to us, that you promised us when we gather together in your name that your presence can be with us. And so we're so grateful and thankful for that. And God, I just pray that as we continue on tonight that, that we would be aware of your presence in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen to these words. From 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or command locusts to devour the land, or send a plague among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. So as we pray tonight, I want that kind of to be our theme, this theme of, of healing, God healing our land. And, and by no means am I saying that or implying that what's happening in our world right now is, 
is God's judgment or wrath or anything like that. I, I'm not trying to, to say that at all, but what I am saying is that there's an opportunity for us. They were uh, in the midst of some trying circumstances, and God told them, when you're facing trials of, of many kinds, uh, reach out. If you will pray, I can bring healing to your lives, to your land. And so that's what we're going to do tonight. I, I want us to pray, pray for healing. First of all, I, I want to give you the opportunity to, to interact with each other a little bit, to be able to pray for each other. And so if there's a name of somebody or, or something that's on your heart, I would encourage you right now to, to post it in the, the comment section below so that we can all be praying together. We don't have to carry our burdens alone. And so if you need prayer or if there's somebody you know that needs prayer, please feel free right now to enter in the name of the person or the name of the situation. And if it's too private, you can send us a, a private message so that we can be praying for it privately. But but I would just encourage you to, to right, where you are, right where you are, to take some time and, and call out to God the, the person's name or somebody that you know that needs physical healing or spiritual healing or emotional healing right now in their lives and, and comment below so that we can all be praying for it. But, but right where you are, somebody uh, in your group, if you're uh, with your family, just somebody pray for God to bring healing into people's lives that desperately need healing right now. Take a moment right where you are and let's pray for that tonight. Father, we all have people in our lives right now that, that we know desperately need you, that we know desperately need physical or spiritual or emotional or financial healing from you right now. And, and God, as, as we call out for these people, we, we put our trust in you that you can bring healing into their lives, that you can bring healing into their souls. And so, Father, right now, we pray specifically for the people that are on our hearts. We pray for those that are that are suffering physically right now, that are going through uh, so much, that are maybe even in the hospital, are not able to go to the hospital because of everything that's going on right now. We pray that you would bring physical healing to those people who need physical healing. God, we pray for those people in our lives that, that need spiritual healing, God, that are, that are running from you that desperately, desperately need a relationship with you. And, and even though you've offered, God, they've turned and they've ran. We pray for those people tonight. We pray that you would bring uh, your presence into their lives and that they would not be able to run anymore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I mean, we want to take a moment tonight and pray for what's happening in our country and in our world. We want to pray for healing from the coronavirus, from COVID-19, whatever you want to call it. Let's Let's pray that God would bring healing to our world, that, that he would bring healing to those who are suffering from this disease right now, that they would be able to um, feel his presence, his comfort, and his peace in their lives. We want to pray for those who are mourning the loss of a loved one right now um, and not even able to give them the proper mourning time that they, that they need with everything that's going on. So let's just pray that God would bring healing and comfort and peace to those who need it. Take a moment right where you are and let's pray for that together. Father, we lift up to you our country, our, our world, and we ask that you would bring healing. 
God, we ask that you would, uh, first of all, for those who are suffering with this illness right now, that you would bring comfort and peace and, and quick recovery. God, that you would help them to know that you, you are near and that they are loved by you. And Father, we pray for those right now who are mourning the loss of a loved one. It's so difficult to imagine what they're going through, what they're facing, and not even able to have proper times of mourning and proper funerals right now. It's it's so hard to imagine. And so, God, we pray for, for healing and peace and comfort for them right now. And, God, we also pray for those who are working tirelessly in our medical community to, uh, to provide care for those who are, who are sick and, and pray for those who are working to come up with vaccines and tests right now to help us be able to come out of this pandemic. We pray for your grace and your peace in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We also want to pray for um, we want to pray for our church and for churches all across the country, really, and all across the world that are doing new things, that are that are being online and digital only and, and doing different types of things. And I want to pray specifically for our church. This weekend we're launching into a brand new series called Not Afraid. And I think this is going to be a really powerful moment for us to be able to, to kind of grasp what God expects from us in times of uncertainty, what God wants from us when things aren't all going right. And so I, I'm excited about this, but I want you to pray specifically that, that we would invite people this weekend to watch with us and participate with us online and that somebody would, would be able to be really challenged and transformed by his presence this weekend in our in our worship services at PwC and all across the world. Will you join me in praying for that tonight? And so, Father, as we kind of wrap up our time of prayer tonight, I, I just want to pray that specifically for this coming weekend, that you would, you would just show up in your presence in our houses, in our, in our neighborhoods, wherever we are able to participate in worship together, that you would help us to know that you are near. And God, that you would bring healing to people. And as we start a brand new series called Not Afraid, that you would teach us from your word, that we would not come with our assumptions, that we would not come with what we think is right, but that we would trust in your word and that we would learn how to handle uncertainty and difficult trials that we are going through. God, we pray that you would truly teach us. And we pray that as we invite people this week to be a part of our weekend online worship experiences, that you would you would give them this desire to watch, to wake up on Sunday morning and participate and that their lives would be transformed because of it. And God, in the coming weeks, as we continue to do church online and as we hopefully transition back, God, that you would help the church to explode with new disciples, people that are following you and putting their complete trust and hope in you. In Jesus' name we pray. And then we want to thank you for joining with us tonight. And just remember that even though we take these 25, 30 minutes every Wednesday night, that this is not the only time that we need to be praying for each other and, and asking God to, to bring healing on behalf of each other. I, I would encourage you to pray throughout the week. If you don't get our prayer emails every Tuesday and you want to get them, please shoot us a message or inbox us or even leave a comment below uh, so that we can get you on that prayer list. Every Tuesday we send out uh, an email letting you know what you can be praying for throughout the week. And uh, please, please, please be in prayer for each other throughout this week. But once again, thank you for joining with us tonight. We'll see you guys on Sunday morning at 1045.